Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, you know, as I always do. So today I'm going to show you how to take a hank of yarn and either kick it or ball it. I have three different methods to show you. And this is a well, uh, people, a uh, well, uh, requested video. So I finally got around to doing it and I'm sorry that it took me so long for those who asked. I actually did forget about it. Anyways, I got it done now. So this is just, uh, three ways that I do it. Um, and I'm sure there's many other ways that it can be done, but I'm just going to show you the ways that I do it. Um, and don't forget, like always, don't forget to that. So hit, 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 <laughs> hit that subscribe button. I stuttered there for a minute. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my great content. I have lots of yarn content, a lot of educational videos, and lots of videos just for pure amusement. So, um, I hope you enjoy my channel if you're new and if you've been with me forever. Thank you. I hope you're still enjoying my channel. Don't forget to give this video a like too. So three different methods. Today I'll show you how to cake a ball using a yarn ball winder and a swift. I will show you how to do it old school style like this. It's a basic ball of yarn. This is the type that you would put in a yarn bowl and it would roll around and you would use it like that. And then I'm going to show you how to do it old school style with a center pool. This one I got cut short during the video because my yarn became knotted and my hand started hurting. So, but this, it would be a ball, and but it has a center pool there. So, and it will have a flat base. So it will set and, well, I can't show you, but it'll set and you get this pool like that. You guys ready to learn? Let's do it. Okay, so yarn balling number one. Actually, this is yarn caking. So this is a yarn ball winder. If you're not familiar, this is the Standwood brand, which is my favorite. It's the Stan Standwood jumbo size. I think it is the best, but that's only my opinion. I'm not affiliated with Standwood or anything. I'm just stating that uh, I think it's the best. So it just hooks up to your table screws on and then um, we're gonna wind a cake this way okay so we got this little rubber piece you kind of pull that down underneath and that keeps it from bouncing and now this is a swift um, it's also the Stanwood brand they have many brands but I just got the Stanwood brand to match the Stanwood winer now it folds up nice and neat and you can put it back in the box and it's easy to easy to store but again it also hooks to the bottom of your table this is wood they have swifts many different kinds of swifts they have tabletop ones that don't hook to your table okay and then it opens up oh, like that okay so you want to take a ball of yarn or a hanky yarn that you want to hank up. It's always my my uh, personal um, recommendation is to not hank up a yarn until you're ready to use it. I'm only doing this for, for, for tutorial purposes. So you see the hank is like this. It has usually two ties on it. Sometimes only one. But here's the tie holding it together. There's only one on this one. So you would put it on the swift and then now you would raise it. Don't hit your face with it like I just did. Like that. Okay, and this bottom comes up and holds it. I know it's big, but remember it does, when you're done with it, it uh, closes up. So now you wanna, you got it on your Swift. You wanna clip the, sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two. There's two. So since this one only has one, you wanna take your long piece here Make sure, okay, come closer here. Take your piece and you thread it through this part right here. And then this right here, just do that eye. And then this has the slits, do that two of them, hook it right onto that. Now you wanna turn it um, clockwise. clockwise like this. Go slow, kind of slow at first. And then there you go. Oh, it's getting tangled. 
If it gets tangled, that means you need to flip your hank. See what I'm doing now? It's just on the swift backwards. Sometimes that happens. No big deal. There we go. Okay, now you can take your swift down, if you're done, it comes off the table, and you can put it back away, away in the box, folds away nicely into a corner, just pull this right off, and there is your cake of yarn from your Stanwood ball winder or whatever ball winder you choose, and it does have a center pull, if you choose, otherwise you can use from the outside, so nice. So you can undo your stand, undo your winder, whatever brand you have. You don't have to get stand one. And then put that away. And I'm going to take the camera and turn it around. I'm going to show you a ball winding method number two. Okay, so yarn ball method winding number two was what I call old school style. This is generally how I do it, actually, unless I have a lot of yarn of the like of the like. Say I'm going to use a bunch for the same project. I'll use the the winder because it's quicker but generally I do it old school style so you take your hank of yarn and you undo it so it just untwists like this and it comes out just like the other one remember sometimes they have two ties and sometimes they have one so what I do old school is I sit in a chair put my knees up I wrap the hank around my knees like this. Let me bend my camera down a bit so you could see it a little bit more. Don't mind my messy back. Now, you want to cut those ties and make sure your hank is straight on. Actually, this has no ties that I see. You come across that sometimes. They, they don't tie it. But anyways, okay, now you find your end. Old school style. Okay, there's two ends. So you take it, you can use a chair, a back of a chair, and wrap it around. I always just use my knees. So you take it and you start it around two fingers like this, through a little bit. Okay, go around your knees. This one is a little time consuming. Then pull it off your fingers, like that. Squeeze it together. And go back around the part that you just squeeze a few times. Keep going around your knees like that. Again, turn it the opposite direction again. Go around a few times. And this is what we do. Old school style. This is going to make a ball. Not a center pour ball. It's going to make a regular ball that you can use in a yarn bowl. Or something like that. A piece of... See, I just go a few times like this. Eventually, it'll start looking more like a ball. And then you can turn it a little bit and go around like this. Like this. And you just keep doing this until your yarn is all balled up. Got to go around your knees or around your chair or whatever you're doing. Now, like I said, this is one is pretty time consuming, but it's old school. So, uh, or it's how I learned. So usually I will sit here if I have to ball Hank yarn and turn on some music or watch some TV while I do this.
There it is, the old school way. So I did speed that up. That took me about 15 minutes to do that. Um, for a uh, 250 yard ball of yarn. Okay, and then this is the type that you would take and put in the yarn bowl. And then you can use it. It doesn't have a center pull, so you can just use it off the end and it'll roll around in your bowl big shout out to gary from urban yarn if you don't know gary you should check out his channel urban yarn he sent me this yarn bowl he made this himself but anyways so yes this is old school number two okay i'm going to show you one more way which is similar to old school but it's going to have a center pool so you're going to take your yarn again your hank and take off your label gonna pop up our knees again remember you can use the table if you want and that's fine that's fine that's fine and you undo your hank on your do your hank by pulling the bottom i don't know if i should do that like that and then, then it unwinds and this one does have a tie on it as you can see i don't know why the other one didn't okay so we're gonna put that on our knees Make sure it's kind of, I know it's hard to see here. I'll do it the best I can. Okay. Wait one second here. Okay, so we got it on our knees and we're gonna wanna cut that tie off and find that should be the start of your yarn here. One end will be the start and the other one will be the finish, okay. So this, like I said, is similar to old school style, but it's going to have a center pull. So you're going to want to use something like a big hook like this. It's a 9mm, 10mm hook. Um, even a pencil will work, straw will work. Some people use bigger uh, hooks like 25mm, um, knitting needles, you know, bigger, bigger knitting needles, stuff like that. But we're going to start, and you want to leave a little bit here at the top uh, so that you can have a center pull. And it's going to be kind of basically the same way. Hold that there. I'm going to hold it back here so it's not going to get wrapped up. And we're going to wrap around the hook. And we're going to turn the hook a little bit each time. So now I got my center pull string. It's just kind of hanging down on its own. That's fine. And I'm just going to wrap and just slightly twisting my hook or my the hook that I'm using or whatever you're using a straw or just you know anything each time just barely twisting it and that's how we're gonna do the center pull one but we take it off our legs the same way we did old school style and I'm just going back wrapping over the top turn over the top just give it a little bit of a turn over the top a little turn I know it's kind of hard to see and you still got your center pull string down here at the bottom just make sure that's always dangling down there don't get it tangled up in the mix of your yarn ball winding
there for a minute because there was a knot in my yarn. I'm going to clip it. But that's how you do it. You just keep doing it until, until you're done. And then you can pull it off your device there that you're using. And now you have a center pull that you made from hand. Let me turn my camera around and we'll look at all three of them. Okay, so here is our cake that we did on the yarn ball uh, winder. And here is old school style in my yarn bowl from Gary from Herman Yarns. And here, here is my small, because I this takes the most time if you ask me, center pull ball. So now I can pull right from the center. And by doing it that way, if you keep the center pull on the hook the whole time, you'll be able to keep a flat base on it so it stands out for you. But either way, uh, you could still put it in the yarn bowl if you take it off. So that's it. I hope that you learned something new. Um, hopefully that was educational for some of you all. I hope that you uh, enjoy it. So let me know in the comments what's your favorite way to ball yarn. <sighs> Mine's old school style, even though it does take me a long time. But like I said, if I'm doing like uh, that piece back there, which I do have a tutorial for, was um, took me uh, 10, I think, 10 different um, hanks so that would be a time that I would break out my uh, yarn ball winder and my swift and do it really fast because it doesn't take very long on a swift to do it uh, uh, just a few minutes to get that versus the 15 minutes or so to do it old school style and then if you want to center pull it like I did a uh, center pull ball that takes a, even longer to do it that way but that's it um and and this is just the ways i do it there are many many ways uh you know people can do it but these are the basic ways um of doing it so yeah i hope you enjoyed my forget my video um like i said in the beginning don't forget to like and subscribe check out all my other videos too i got a bunch of cool educational videos and i will see you guys on my next video don't forget to let me know in the comments what way do you uh, wine yarn. Do you wind your yarn? You don't just have to do hanks. You can do ball. You can take skeins and wind them into cakes if you want. Because uh, some people prefer the stackability of cakes. Um, I like cakes, but I leave my skeins in the skein form. And I leave my hanks in the hang form until I'm ready to use them. I only did this for tutorial purposes only. Um, other than that, yeah. Let me know how you, how you like your, uh, how you like it, how you like to do yours. You prefer the swift, old school, or center pool, old school. I guess that's what I'll call that one. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay safe, okay? Bye, guys. Love you all.